Good Mara, it's Wednesday. I'm back with another video and I apologize about the lighting. I know like I we're all like, ooh, we don't care what people think. But um my ring light died. <laughs> so until I can get that fixed, I need to figure out my lighting situation. But I just wanted to film. Um so I'm like, screw it, we're just gonna do it. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing pretty okay. Well, actually more than that, but you know. We take everything with grace. Um, I have some uh, chicken bacon penne alfredo with uh, poor people's garlic bread, ghetto garlic bread, whatever you want to call it, and a piece of fried chicken. Mm. Delish. And I also have Heinz 57 that Jack introduced me to to have with my chicken. But I hope, like I said, everyone's doing all right, that everyone's had a good weekend. I want to get into this chicken. Um, mine's been good. Today, well, the other day, Jack and I finally watched Argyle. I don't know if I like it or not. Like, the story was good. You know, I have big name actors. And I, they were all good and all that. It had its funny moments. But I just, I don't know. I don't know if I enjoy it as, like, a movie. Which sounds weird. But... I feel like I would like it more if it was just a book, even though it's a movie about a book. If you've seen it, let me know if you agree with me or if I'm crazy. I made some garlic, this garlic toast, homemade. It's like, we didn't have any, and I tried cutting it, and it totally fell apart on me, except for like, there's one perfect triangle. So I'm going to do next time, probably. I'm going to make it for Jack and I this week. Since it turned out good. Um, is after I put the herb butter on. Cutting it down. And then heating it up. And I'm also excited because my mom's having someone out about the, um, oven on Thursday. So that'll be nice. Yeah, Argyle was okay. I think I have to watch it again just to, like, figure out if I like it. Mm. Yum. I'm grateful to Jack for the piece of chicken. So I have kind of a funny neighbor update. Um, nothing bad. I've just sort of been ignoring them. Try my best to at least. Complaining here and there, you know, to people who like Jack. But they had their car, which I believe I talked about this summer. And then the car stopped working completely. And now they got like an Amazon motorcycle. It's some sort of motorbike. And it appeared yesterday in their driveway. Like a delivery guy dropped it off. And my main question is, why blow your money on that instead of fixing your car?
like do you see why I wanted to go wanted them to go away and leave me alone? These are not intelligent people. Like, that's something you buy when you, like, have a working car. I just need a hobby that might kill you, you know? Not something that you use probably for transportation or, like, a status thing. As you can tell, it's not like a real motorcycle, motorcycle, you know? And then the other best part is they can't even get this thing to start. At all. Like, last 24 hours. I'm gonna do this. Not like consistently, like he'll stop at night, you know, so he doesn't piss everybody else off too. But. Like, it's just him trying to start it, and then you're just going, I'm like, dude, this is why you, this is why you go to a freaking dealership, or like, you know, at least get it. Checked out by somebody. You don't just... buy this stuff on Amazon. But mm. that's an update with that. In case you were wondering. But. Yeah. So the rest of my night's going to be Fortnite. Fortnite Lego. Which yes I'm still into. I'm not like super into Fortnite right now. Because I never won again after winning like. Three battle royales. I still play. I'm playing Lego Fortnite a lot. Or Lego Minecraft, as I call it all the time. It's just, ah, uh, it's nice. It ni it's nice feeling like I'm getting good at stuff finally, you know. Like, a lot of it's just for me not shitting on myself all the time anymore. Like with my herb. If I'm not pressured to, like, do anything with it right now, I'll just chill. I have a blank canvas sitting there. I have been sitting there since I finished my crow painting, you know? Because, like, that's the thing is, I don't work well with, like, I work well under pressure. But when it comes to my personal stuff, I don't do well trying to kick my ass into it. Because I've had that my entire life, so. I 
I gotta sort of reject it. Which I think is normal. And it's nice actually like starting to see my personal growth and like actually see it make like actual differences in and around me. It's just refreshing and like if you're in the same boat or you're working on yourself and it just feels like you're stuck in the same place for years and years and years just keep going at some point you'll figure it out and i'll be baby gravy anyways i'm full thank you for joining me um please chat me in the comments below i love hearing from you I will also link my Instagram down below. Um, I post on there. You can see little snippets of my everyday life and stuff like that and things I might not post on here. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Have a great one. Bye.